Welcome back again to my channel. For today's tutorial, we will discuss about finding the GCF and LCM of two given numbers using the continuous division method. We all know that GCF stands for greatest common factor and LCM stands for least common multiple. There are also other ways on how to find out the LCM and GCF of a given number like using the listing method and the three factor. But for our tutorial, we will use the continuous division method. And for our first activity, let us find out or determine the GCF and LCM of 24 and 60. First thing that we should do is to write down the first five prime numbers. And these are the 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. We will use the prime number as a divisor that is divisible to the given number. Let us now begin to find out if what is the GCF and LCM of 24 and 60 using the continuous division method. The first thing that we should do is to copy 24 and 60 and write them horizontally. So we have 24 and 60. Then, write down the division sign in an opposite way. So we have that division sign. Since we already have our dividend, let us find out if what is the divisor that we are going to use. So which prime number is divisible for 24 and 60. So, the prime number that we're going to use is 2. The prime number that we use and serve as our divisor is 2. So, the next thing that we should do is to divide 24 into 2. So, the answer is 12. 60 divided 2 is equivalent to 30. Since our quotient are still a composite number, we will uh, continue to divide them using a prime number that is divisible to 12 and 30. And the number that we are going to use is 2 since they are both an even numbers. 12 divided 2 is equivalent to 6 and 30 divided 2 is 15. So, hindi pa rin tayo titigil dahil composite number pa rin ang 6 and 15. Let us find out again if what is the prime number that is divisible for 6 and 15. So, is 2 is divisible by 6? Yes. But, is it divisible by 15? The answer is no. So, let us move on to 3. 3 is divisible for 6 and it is also divisible for 15. That's why we will use 3 as our divisor. 6 divided 3 is equal to 2 and 15 divided 3 is equivalent to 5. So, that is the time that we are going to stop the continuous division method dahil lahat ng mga answer natin or nag, ma, ang quotient natin ay prime number na. And the next step that we're going to do is to determine the GCF of 24 and 60. And to determine the GCF of 24 and 60, all we have to do is to multiply all the numbers into this, into this side. So we have 2 times 2, we have 4, and 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Therefore, the GCF of 24 and 60 is 12. What about the LCM or the least common multiple of 24 and 60? 
all we have to do is to multiply all these numbers together. So, we are going to multiply them all. So, we have 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. And 12 times 2 is equal to 24. And 24 times 5 is equal to 120. So, the LCM of 24 and 60 is 120. So let us have another example of continuous division method. Let us now determine the greatest common factor and least common multiple of 12 and 16. Again, let us write 12 and 16 horizontally and the opposite sign of the division. Afterwards, find out if what is the prime number will serve as the divisor of 12 and 16. And the only prime number that is divisible for 12 and 16 is 2. So, 12 divided 2 is equal to 6 and 16 divided 2 it is equivalent to 8. So, we will not stop here because they are still a composite number. Find again the prime number that is divisible for 6 and 8. Since they are both an even number, we will uh, again use the prime number 2 as our divisor. So, 6 divided 2 is equivalent to 3 and 8 divided 2 is equivalent to we can now stop here and find out if what the GCF of 12 and 16. All we have to do again is to multiply the two numbers on the left side. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, 4 is the GCF of 12 and 16. GCF of 12 and 16 is 4. And then, how to find out the LCM of 12 and 16? All we have to do is to multiply all this number. So, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. And 12 times 4 is equal to 48. So the LCM of 12 and 16 is 48. And for our last example is to determine the GCF or the greatest common factor and the least common multiple of 60 and 72. Let us again copy 60 and 72 and write them horizontally. And the division uh, sign. Now, let us take to the prime number that is divisible for 60 and 72. So, the safest prime number that we can use is 2. So, 60 divided uh, 2 is equivalent to 30 and 72 divided 2 is equal to 36. So, magpo-proceed pa rin tayo dahil uh, divisible pa rin sila sa prime number which is 2 again. 30 divided 2 is equivalent to 15 and 36 divided 2 is equivalent to 18. And the next thing that we should do now is to take again of a prime number that is divisible for 15 and 18. So, yung 2 hindi siya divisible for 15. That's why mag-move tayo sa prime number which is the 3. So, 3 ang ating magiging divisor ngayon. 
15 divided 3 is equal equivalent to 5 and 18 divided 3 is equivalent to 6. So, dyan na mag stop yung ating continuous division method. Since ang 5 and 6 ay hindi naman sila multiple. Let's find out now if what is the greatest common factor of 60 and 72. So, all we have to do is to multiply these numbers on the left side. So, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And 4 times 3 is equal to 12. So, the GCF of 60 and 72 is 12. Now, what about the LCM or the least common multiple of 60 and 72? Let us now multiply all these numbers to get the least common multiple of 60 and 72. So, 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. And 12 times 5 is equal to 60. 60 times 6 is equal to 360. So, the LCM of 60 and 72 is 360. So, that is the end of our lesson for today. I hope na muli makatulong ito sa lahat ng ating mga kaparents sa lahat ng ating mga anak habang tayo ay nasa modular learning. Muli, maraming salamat po. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa ating mga bagong videos.